Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to the final episode of Bang Dream. It's Michael. It's so weird. Even though it's been a couple of days for me and you guys, and I'm finally now watching this, like, I'm sad. I'm happy, but I'm sad at the same time. Like, I finally updated the game, and I got to see the girls in the game, and they all look so good, and I'm so happy for them. Like, yay. It's just... It's so good. It's a really good welcoming for them, and I'm just so happy for them. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with the final episode in three, two, one, go. The pretty house. Hmm. I mean, no ifs and buts are about it. It's just like boom. Ooh, I, I, I like this. Hey, okay, it, it was already confirmed the same day of this episode that, yes, her group is also getting a spinoff for this. So I am honestly super excited about their group as well. And so I'm guessing from what this episode is looking like and how it starts, this episode is a prequel to their series. And if it is like that, I'm not mad at it. It would be a very interesting thing. Um. Plus, their group, I, I've only heard, I think, two songs, but, like, I do get heavy metal vibes with that, and I'm not mad at that, honestly. I am someone who kind of likes a little bit of heavy metal, but not too, too much. Um, but it still gives me my regular rock feels for, like, any type of rock band that I listen to and such. So, honestly, I am excited. Plus, one of the girls who's in it, it's the girl, um who has like she looks very similar to Kasumi and such and she has the broadest hair who's friends with um Taki she is Marika and Mermaid and Ben um not Ben today and Divo DJ so I'm just like oh my babies are going to bigger and better product and projects and I'm just so happy so uh it's just yay I still won regardless We're probably not going to see that anime for this, though, until, like, next year, though. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, come on. Yeah, you deserve it. Uh, she said it's okay. We gotta do a cheers! Hmm. And soyo is still soyo. That's my baby, though.
You'll be fine. <laughs> Figured. We all know that. She's writing another song. Freaking chills, ah! Oh. Wait, hold on. Hear her out, at least. You owe her that. <laughs> what are you? Yeah. <laughs> hmm?
It's so cute. Because, <laughs> of course, she has to go and do her own practicing. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. That's a clue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 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 uh. Fine. I love the outfits. So pretty. Oh, my God. Also, I love the mask with this. It not only gives me Persona feel, feels with it a lot, specifically Persona 5, but it is something very different that Benzity has never done. And I love that they're just the goals that this series is making, and I love it. Oh, I love the name, too.
They look like dolls. Really pretty dolls. I was about to say that, like, if they truly loved you, then why they throw you, throw you away? Unfortunately. <laughs> More like... Reborn, in a way. The Rosalia feels up in this ish. I cannot. Oh my God. I love it. Oh my God. It's everything I want. Okay, hold up. Remember when everybody said that Razor Simon was going to be chomping the crap out of Rosalia? This is the group that is like on par with Rosalia. Like, yes, don't get me wrong. Like, Razor Simon had like several lives with my girlies, but these girlies, oh, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming to be on par with my babies. And I'm honestly excited about this. I can imagine how the cards are going to look. I'm about to cry. <laughs>
I like it. I like it a lot. It's really different. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. I, I can't. Oh, it was perfect. Perfect. Like, oh my god. I don't know how to feel right now, because, bruh. Well, yeah. That's where you live? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold the fuck up. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I have questions, because <laughs> this means anything. I'm guessing, okay, so she, she lives in, of course, two different places. An apartment and then the house that she's, like, looked at. Especially, you know, in the past with her and Woody. Um, so I'm guessing maybe that's where her mom lives. And then her dad lives in, you know, the apartment. And, of course, he's a drunk. And I think we're, we're really gonna learn a lot. Especially when we get the spinoff and such. But... Honestly, final thoughts for this show overall. Like, yes, it is very much on par with seasons one through three of Bunsity. It, it is different. It really, truly is. It's not, and that was the biggest thing that you could see from the first three episodes where you could tell this was not going to be the typical happy, happy, you know, series that we all know and love that this is going to be a little dark. This is going to be very emotional, and a hell of emotional roller coaster, which it truly was week after week, um, and such. Now, let let's talk about this group. Um, I really like them, and I genuinely I like every group in Bandity. Yes, I have my faves and my you know my the ones that I like. Where I'm like, I like y'all, but I'm not really a fan of y'all. But I think you're cool. There's there's always that one person. And Vendity that I I do not hate her. I dislike her a lot because I am so cursed by her. Her cards always come home when I'm trying to get like Rosalia cards. Hug me. <laughs> Just saying. Um, but this group, I, I really love the fact is with the mass. The mass is something very different that we've never seen in this series before. And it eludes so much aura and mysteriousness and such. And I get it where she's trying to keep themselves hidden. Because if it comes out for these girls, especially with um, the blonde who was already in a group and such, a lot of things could go wrong. A lot of um, issues could Go, go wrong with that. And so I get it. Because I'm guessing with units and stuff like that, you can't really be in another thing with somebody else when you're already signed away on a duo and such. 
I mean, like, think about it where it's, like, a group of nine girls, so we can say, like, any Love Live idol group, K-pop group, whatever, and such. Of course they have their subunits. Subunits are okay because they're still in the units of the main group. But if it's something like you're doing two different projects, you're still getting paid for both, who knows if we might see something bad like this. Like, do I think this is, is about to go light, especially with the spinoff, like, Oceanal? Oshino Koi. No, I don't think it's going to go that route because, of course, that show is really more entertainment and the dark side of the entertainment industry while this is just strictly bend to me. And nothing, and anything about bands and stuff. But, yes, these girls are very interesting. They're all very... They do give me, once again, Rosalia vibes and such. And, like I said, I can see them being in not only a lot of lives together for them, how they just even open for Rosalia over the weekend so fucking props like hello but um i can see a lot of um <laughs> more or less like um events and stuff that features both of these groups together and uh, more lives that they're gonna do like officially like when the first official artwork for these two groups doing a collaborative live together, just how they did with both Reese's Zone and Rosalia. Like, that's going to be nuts. And it does also make me wonder what the heck their, um, their little, like, um, symbol is going to be. I feel like it's going to be a moon because you see so much moons all up in their performance, so it makes the most sense. Especially when you look at Maigo and their thing on Lost Girls, I love the fact that their symbol is a compass. I think that's really cute and adorable. It suits them so freaking much. And I honestly, once again, with both of these groups, cannot wait to see more of them. But especially now with this group, and especially with What's-Her-Face, with, I think Saki was her name, and this side that she's hidden from herself her alluring like she has this good girl image and such and that she's just prim and proper and then you see truly like when she's going a different way from home she's taking a route that you've never really seen before and you see that she's home and she's going to her dad's house we're about to see a side that we've never seen of her we've seen the happy and then you know what i like to say the slowly but surely plummeting into darkness which i love and this is going to be someone who was really hurt like truly hurt and i think we're going to get a lot of not only baggage but not in a bad way but also in a good way um and a lot of backstory on her especially when the spinoff comes out probably i'm gonna say i'm saying like sometime next year i don't think like as much as i would love for the spinoff to air during my birthday month next month i i think that's inhumanly possible they're probably maybe like halfway done with it um and such so i'm, I'm aiming more sometime next year but this was really good too freaking good like god just 10 out of 10 definitely would recommend but other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards the entirety of Bang Dream. It's my goal. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. To my master squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on, well, the, the last next couple of weeks for the last of summer anime. And then, of course, in the next couple of weeks for the start of fall anime. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.